but one of the illest uh, memories that I have of Tupac is when uh, Suge had called us to go. Suge had had um, something going on in Vegas, and everybody from Death Row had to be there. And I think I told the story before. Uh, shout out to you, corrupt. Uh, everybody in in in, uh, in Death Row had to be there. Snoop and all these other people who had already loaded the plane. Uh, but Tupac didn't load the plane yet. And Tupac uh, had all of us with him. So we, Tupac, Suge told Tupac he has to board the plane and we have to go. And then, you know, they, and Tupac said, um, well, I'm not boarding the plane unless all my people's board with me, which was us. And Suge was like, you, you know, you kidding me? Like, you gotta board this plane and have them dudes get on another flight and get or get down there. However, they're gonna get down there. I guess I, you know, what I'm saying. But just y'all couldn't, you know, you have to go now. And Pac said, if I don't go, none of us go. If they don't go, none of us go. And I'm hearing this, and I'm like, no, Pac, no, just go, and we'll get there whatever way we get there, you know what I'm saying? Because this is your business. I don't want you to fuck. And I, but I didn't say that, you know what I'm saying? I had that in my mind, but I was like, damn, I don't fuck it. And next thing you know, Pac went into the spot. Whatever happened with him and Suge, Suge must have said, I'm not bringing those, I'm not letting them go with you. And Pac came storming out of the fucking thing. Like, basically, if I come out, um, uh, we leave it. And, uh, I said, if he comes out, you know what I mean? Next thing you know, Pop came out the room, out the th thing, walking, and he just said, let's go. And I ain't say nothing. It was like, you know, when you're, when you're the general of your squad say, let's go, you don't even ask a question. You just move. Because that's the general. You know what I'm saying? So, when Pop came out, he said, let's go. And he tore up the plane tickets and, and, and he had a mad, he was mad as a motherfucker. And I felt, I put my head down because I knew it was going to be a bad night. And we went straight to the studio and we recorded this song called Never Call You Bitch Again. And uh, I kept trying to record my verses and I kept looking at Pac through the glass window and he was mad and arguing and he looking like discomforted and like just fucked up. And I, and I dropped my headphones and I said, I can't record, man. I said, this shit, I'm sorry, Pac. I was like, I just, just, I, it ain't, this ain't the night, man. Like, this, like, seeing you and this whole, like, I'm, 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 I'm trying, but I can't. I can't, I can't act like none of this shit has affected me. You know what I mean? And that was probably one of the illest nights, because I've never, ever did that before. I've never had somebody affect me so bad that I couldn't record, and it was almost like I wanted to go in and console them, but it wasn't, it was personal. Like, I mean, it's not my business, you know? There was nothing I could say. I, I didn't. I didn't want to get into nothing that was wasn't my business.